sometimes I be thinking that I'm going to grieve myself to death because some, some days it's just overwhelming. Jonathan Ward says he has many questions about the murder of his son, Brian. The 17-year-old, 5 feet 5 inches tall, 130 pounds, was last seen in the 300 block of Allison Street Northwest on September 29, 2020. D.C. police responded for the sound of gunshots but found only broken glass on the sidewalk. December of 2021 marked the end of the hope Brian's family was clinging to. His body was found in the woods off Conti Road in Laurel. Court documents say the man now charged with Brian's murder told detectives where to find him. The documents say 25-year-old Brandon Nguyen of Laurel confessed to shooting Brian in what he claimed was self-defense. He said the teen arranged to meet him on Allison Street to buy marijuana, but instead pulled a gun and tried to rob him. Nguyen said there was a struggle and, quote, one of us were going to die. He grabbed the gun, shot Brian, panicked, and drove his body to Laurel. The documents show Nguyen, who was identified through Brian's cell phone, repeatedly lied to detectives. Police tracked down the 2013 Acura TL, similar to this one, that Nguyen drove to Allison Street that day. It was sold the day after Brian Ward was shot and still smelled of bleach, the new owner told detectives. The documents also say a warrant for the 17-year-old's iCloud account found photos of Brian with a handgun days before his disappearance. Fresh pain on top of never-ending pain for a father who says he tried to stay on top of what his son was doing. My son never had a charge, never, you know, caused any kind of charge or any kind of trouble with the police or anything. He was in school, and actually the day that he asked me to go out, he FaceTimed me, and I was on my way home. And, you know, they was doing virtual school then. And I told him, well, just wait till I get home and make sure that, you know, you finish with your work or whatever, your school work and things like that. We make sure, in case we see how the house is, in case I need you to do something. Brian Ward lived only a couple of blocks away from where he was killed. In Northwest, Jackie Benson, News 4.